In the past segments, we observed Elodia at different magnifications and created a simple scientific drawing of the cells at high power. Next, we will learn how to measure the size of the field of view at different magnifications and then how to use that information to determine the size of our Elodia specimens. In this case, we will use a slide with a ruler attached to it to actually directly measure the field of view. View the slide at your low power or 50 times objective to measure the field of view in millimeters. Note, when you're looking at it, the space between each two lines here is one millimeter, so I think the estimate for this one is about 3.5 millimeters. Now repeat again at the medium power or the 100 times objective. The space between two lines is still about a millimeter or so, so this estimate looks like maybe one and a half to 1.75 millimeters. You can see how the estimate becomes less accurate as you increase the magnification. Finally, repeat again with the 400 times or high power objective. And notice here, you can't see any of the lines at all. So we know that the value is less than a millimeter, but we don't really have any landmarks to tell us where it is in that range. Now I'm going to go through a more accurate way of determining the actual field of views. We will use the ruler for our first measurement at 50 times, then use math to determine the rest. This will provide a better estimate for medium and high power than directly measuring with a ruler. So our estimate for low power using the ruler was 3.5 millimeters. Our previous estimate at medium power with the ruler was about a millimeter and maybe a half or a little more than a half. So let's leave that rough estimate aside and create a better estimate. We know as the magnification increases, the field of view should decrease proportionately because again, you're zooming in on a smaller area. So you're taking a closer look at a smaller area. So as our magnification doubles from 50 to 100, the field of view is divided in two to 1.75 millimeters. Now we can use the same idea to calculate the field of view at 400 times magnification. We know as we increase magnification from 100 to 400 times, then we divide the field of view by four. So that gives us 0.44 millimeters. Now we're going to convert our measurements into a more useful unit for microscope work, which is the micrometer. One millimeter is equivalent to a thousand micrometers. By multiplying the field of view size or diameter for each magnification by a conversion factor for millimeters to micrometers, you can calculate the field of view diameter in micrometers. In the case of low power, it would be 3,500 micrometers. So just repeat that for the other two magnifications again using the same conversion factor. That gives us a field diameter of 1750 micrometers for medium power and 440 micrometers for high power. Next, we'll use this information on field of view sizes to calculate the actual size of one of our Elodia cells. When doing these calculations, use the highest power possible as it will provide the most accurate estimate. Looking back at our drawing of Elodia, or an actual view of the Elodia under the microscope at 400 times, we can see that about four of the cells would fit across the field of view if we line them up across the center. And that's just using one of the, the larger cells at the top there. Um, you might choose a different cell, in which case you might get a slightly different estimate. So we know the field of view diameter is about 440 micrometers. So using this information, we can calculate the estimated size of one of these cells by dividing the field of view by four to give 110 micrometers. We are now going to de determine the drawing magnification, which is how much larger you have drawn your image than it actually is. We know the actual size of the cell is about 110 micrometers based on the calculations that we just did. The drawing magnification is simply the size of the drawing of the cell divided by the actual size of the cell. We can now measure the size of our drawing of the cell, and it looks like we've drawn it at about two centimeters. Notice that the units don't match up in this equation, so we're going to have to convert centimeters into micrometers before we continue. There are 10,000 micrometers in one centimeter. So we would multiply our cell size of two centimeters by the conversion factor to give a drawing size of 20,000 micrometers. 
Now we can plug this into our equation for drawing magnification. And after calculating it, we get a final value for drawing magnification of 182 times. This means we've blown up the picture of the cell to 182 times of its actual size. Now we've learned how to measure the size of an object under the microscope and how to calculate the drawing magnification. In this example, we did our estimates at 400 times power. However, sometimes it's more appropriate to use the 50 or 100 times power. In that case, just follow the same procedures, but substitute in the appropriate field of view value for that magnification. And that's it. We're all done. So thank you, and we'll see you next time.